Hi. We're going to be packing a Sigma 2 370. We're going to start with setting the brakes. This is my point of view. All right. Here we are. First, we're going to set the brakes. Red mark goes to the Dacron loop from the riser, then through the ring, and then we put the toggle through the Dacron loop. The toggle is going to go through that tip right through the tip keeper on the top. We're going to snap it in place, make sure everything is flat, make sure that stops. We're going to grab the excess brake line and we're going to put it on the back on the excess brake line keepers. The elastic is a little bit tight at the beginning, so this is a brand new assembled canopy, okay? So it's a little bit harder right now. We're going to go for the second one, same thing. As you can actually see here, I'm only setting the primary brake lines. The secondaries don't have brake settings. Doing the same thing I did before. Put the tension on the lines, putting the tip on the keeper, and snapping the toggle in place. The snap prevents from this piece to go over here the toggle and locking the toggle in place and uh, not allowing you to release your brakes. So it's super important to snap the toggle in place. We're gonna put the keepers again in place. And I like to do this little fold here just to keep it neater in place. There we go. Next thing, we're gonna grab our risers. We're gonna walk the lines up the canopy. Walk all the way through. Push the slider all the way through. And we're gonna do four line check. Make sure the brake lines are clear. As you can see, they are clear. Front risers, they are clear. And Outside line. Outside line, one side. Now we do the other side. Outside line. Outside line. So now we know the canopy is hooked up correctly. We're gonna start by counting the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grab the entire nose. We're gonna do a nice shape. Put it between the knees. One, two, three, four, five. A's, one, two, three, four, five. B's. You can see I'm doing nice flakes here. Then I'm gonna quarter the slider. Following cleaning the stabilizer. And you can find your three brake lines here that they are long. Then we find five D lines, lines to the center, fabric to the outside. Okay, try to keep all that nice and neat. Keep your stabilizer clean. As we do one side, now we do the other. Five. One, two, three, four, five Bs. We have everything nice in place. Now we clean the stabilizer. We have five lines, we grab our D lines, flake all that in place. As you can see, we want to keep these long brake lines, so the secondaries, controlled to the center and also the stabilizer. Something that I do right here to keep control of the canopy and the lines in place, I like to grab my stabilizer and put it in between the lines and the slider and just roll it a little bit like this. At the moment we pull the tail around, it will keep the lines right in place where we want them to be and it actually helps out a lot. Now I'm gonna find my center cell. You can see that I'm putting a little bit of that line right there. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna fold it, push it in place. I'm gonna bring the center seam of the canopy over the slider grommets and now I'm gonna open this up and with my feet, I'm gonna keep the D lines, the brake lines I mean in place, bringing the tail around. I'm gonna do one side, now we're going to do the other side. Once we have done that, I'm gonna bring all the tail around, check that my nose is clean, and also bring the slider up. Check your lines, make sure everything is in place. 
and you can grab the front stabilizer part and make it super neat and just hide it a little bit behind the slider this is just for neatness and for comfort now that I have my tail all the way around I'm gonna match my seams and I'm gonna lightly roll it keeping control of the entire canopy I'm not rolling it too much, I'm not rolling it a little bit, I'm just, it's just about right. I, I want to roll it to the point that I can actually, as you can see right here, I have control over the canopy, okay? Now that I worked all this, I did all this hard work to keep everything nice and neat, I'm not going to slam the canopy in the ground. Actually, I'm going to place it on the ground. And as you can see, I'm bringing it down super gently. I'm not working hard at all on it. Next step. Clean my bag, make sure all my stores are in place. Sip of water. And now we're gonna put the canopy on the bag. Right here, I'm gonna make sure that my slider grommets are nice and flat. I'm gonna put both of my knees right on the, in between the tail and the slider grommets, right on top of them. Very gently, I'm gonna take the air out of the center cell, kind of creating the triangular ice cream shape. We're gonna go right back up. I'm gonna grab both edges of this cocoon, bring them both to the center, and lay on top of it. This is allowing me to take the air out of the canopy, and also to bring all the lines again to the center. Once that's done, make sure this, the tail doesn't crawl up. Let's put the knees back again. I'm gonna follow my center seam, and pull only the center cell out. Once I do this, I'm just gonna open it up, flatten it, and gently roll and get cool in the rest of the parachute. Cool. Taking all the air out. Once we have accomplished that, I'm gonna stand up. Control my lines where the slider grommets are, putting tension on the lines, also keeping the slider against the slider stops. It's super important for the opening. Put my hand right there, do a nice fold. Using both of my hands and the knees and the floor, I'm gonna control the canopy so I can put it inside the bag. Once I grab the entire canopy, as you can see right there, I'm grabbing with both hand, with one hand both sides. I'm gonna replace my knee for my hand and finish the fold by putting my left hand putting pressure on the grommets and since it's a big canopy I'm gonna put the canopy inside the bag in halves I like to start with the left side so I'm gonna take the air out of the left side of the canopy as you can see right here I'm gonna grab the, the left side grommet and put it under my knee and I'm gonna fill up half of the bag. Once I accomplish that, I'm gonna put my knee on the side. I'm gonna keep tension or pressure on the canopy and I'm gonna take the right side, the air out of the right side. After that's done, I'm gonna slide the bag and the canopy inside of it, making sure that the grommets are outside so it's easier to handle the, the bag. And I'm just gonna push the canopy inside the bag. I'm gonna switch sides now. 